back. It is pretty late. As you guys can see, I'm using the map lights so you can kind of see me on the camera, but searching through Facebook Marketplace, I know guys, I shouldn't be doing it, but I was doing it. And I'm really happy that I was because I found a 2006 Pontiac GTO with 80,000 original miles, automatic LS2, really clean. It has some fade on the paint, but besides that, it is really nice. It's $3,000, 80,000 original miles. Let's go. So the deal behind it is, is a guy's friend was supposed to install a larger camshaft, pulled everything apart, didn't know what he was doing, and uh, that's that's where we ended up. It's all apart, has a cam, it's still not in the engine. The engine, I guess, is just kind of sitting in the engine bay, but let's head up to Denver. I am in the Hellcat. Getting a, in the Hellcat, getting a GM LS2. I mean, I, I have the LS4. It's, it's a, it is what it is. Let's let's go up there. I'm pretty excited about it. Can't wait to see this thing. Should be able to throw it back together. 80,000 miles. I don't think the engine needs anything but that cam. Throw HP tuners on it and uh, we should be good. So let's uh, let's rip the Hellcat up there if all these people get out of my way. Last night I ran up in the Hellcat, paid for the GTO. We have the title, have the keys, and I brought some of the parts back. So it has a Texas Speed cam. It has a lot of parts. I wasn't expecting it. It looks like the upper, the top end, the heads, all the valve train is built. It has a cam. It also has a drive shaft shop drive shaft, long tube headers, a bunch of other stuff. So I was very happy that I uh, I got it for three grand. I couldn't believe it. Uh, the guy said there's a bunch of people messaging him, but it was like first come, first serve. And you know, I was the first one there. So I'm pretty happy. We got the trailer hooked up. I didn't record anything last night because it got super windy when I was there and then you know, it was really dark, so you really couldn't see much. Stopped at the gas station to get some diesel. Truck's empty, and this is the cheapest spot in Northern Colorado to get fuel, but we have the GTO. So this is an 06 with, I think, under 100,000 miles, but the great thing about it is it has a built transmission. We have the LS2. It's a six liter aluminum block, which these things are worth quite a bit of money just by themselves, but it has headers. It also has a built transmission that's actually leaking fluid all over there. They uh, didn't have it very well bolted in here, so it's kind of shifted, but we'll get everything back together once we get home. I'm just really happy that I got this thing for three grand. Just got back to the junkyard and just in the nick of time because I must have picked up something. This tire was leaking air when I just pulled in and uh, I guess we'll figure it out. Or is it this one? Nope, it's definitely this one. It might have is dry rotted, so it might have just been its time. But yeah, let's offload the GTO, and uh, then I'll pull, I wanna pull the LS out of it and kind of go through it and figure out what is actually in it, because I have no clue. It has a drive shaft, shop drive shaft. It has a lot of good parts on here, but uh, then I can just kind of assess what I'm gonna need to order. Got the LS2 out of the GTO. One thing, I can't believe GM didn't make those hoods out of aluminum, but I hooked a battery up to it. I was hoping a bunch of parts would be in the trunk, like head studs and other random miscellaneous stuff, but there wasn't, so I'll have to buy some stuff. But look at that, 93,000 original miles. Hell yeah. So the interior is actually really clean. Doesn't look that bad. This door panel, the leather, or whatever that, that is, I don't really think it's real leather, is a little bit cracked, but for the most part, it's really nice. The seats aren't torn. I probably could get one of these door panels from GM for probably a couple hundred bucks. But yeah, look at these seats. They just need to be cleaned up. Both of them are really nice. Uh, that door panel over there actually doesn't look cracked or anything, but it might, 
It has a little weird bubble in it. The rear seats look perfect. I wanna tear it pretty much completely down because it's been left open. The guy said that it's been sitting this way for about four years. His friend was supposed to pull it, put the cam in, which I'll end up putting the cam in, but I need to get a crank pulley because the crank pulley is missing. A bunch of, bunch of random things are missing. I'll have to get head studs because half the head studs are missing. Some of the injectors are missing. So I think the best plan of attack is to pretty much do what I did to the LS4, pull the heads back off because they've already been off. As you can see, no head studs. I think they're just literally held on there by the 10 mils. And I think the intake manifold is probably just loosely on there as well. Then I can pull the oil pan and the exhaust manifolds have been off of this as well for four years. So dirt and just grime is probably in the cylinders. So I'll have to most likely put this thing on an engine stand, flip it upside down, spray brake cleaner in it, then flip it back over, um, just trying to get if there's any grit or sand or any, any fine debris that will scratch the cylinder walls when I do move the pistons up and down. So I'll try to mitigate that as much as I possibly can, and it should work. As long as it's upside down and you spray it, you should be able to get everything, and then I'll coat it with some ATF, and it should be completely fine. But yeah, I'll have to, I wanna clean this up as well. It's pretty grimy, the oil pan's grimy. I'll probably end up getting a baffled oil, oil pan because I do wanna take this to the road course and the road course, you know, if you have nice sticky tires, pull a lot of Gs, um, you know, you, you can spin bearings. So I'll also wanna pull the pan to check to see if there's any bearing material. Car has low miles, but, um, and he was doing all this work, so I don't think it's bad, but it's really a good idea to check make sure um, also the crank pulley has been off. So there's been dirt and grime getting behind into the oil pump, which is right there. I'll probably get a, another oil pump, a higher volume one, just like I did to the LS4, like I did to my 240 that has the LS1 in it. So I have an LS1, LS2, LS4. So I need an LS3. I just need to get them all. It's like Pokemon. So LS2 is all apart and I'm really happy that I pulled this thing apart because there is some grime and grit in the engine and that's probably because they maybe left the intake manifold off, the valley cover off, they might have left the heads off for a while but as you can see right there there's leaves, dirt and grime in there which if I would have just put this thing together and not checked anything all this would have went onto the camshaft then it would have went onto the rods, it would have got flung around and you know, it could have you know, bypassed the oil filter because technically, probably I'd say 25% of the time your oil filter gets bypassed with the, the check valve and stuff. So what I wanna do is completely clean this thing up. I'm not gonna pull the pistons out or pull the rods or pull the crankshaft out. I don't think I need to go that far, but I'll pretty much just brake clean all of this hit it with some Scotch-Brite, get it nice and clean. The heads look good. They have these yellow valve springs. I don't know if those are factory. I do have a set of titanium valves for these heads. Actually, I have like five sets of titanium valves for these. I got them years ago. I don't even remember where I got them, but uh, I could put those in there, but then I'd have to redo the valve seats. Don't really wanna go that crazy on it. So I'll probably just leave those in there. Hopefully those are aftermarket valve springs. And then I just wanna probably get the heads decked. Doesn't look like they've been decked. They probably don't need to be decked, but 
um, you know, I want them cleaned up. I'll also clean the mating surface up and all of this just grime and stuff. So I do want to put the Texas Speed larger cam. I'll have to see what the cam shaft is, but I'll throw that in there, get an adjustable timing gear, get a high volume oil pump, and then just redo all this. I'm gonna try to see if I can get a baffled oil pan because I do wanna take it to the road course and going around turns, I don't wanna have any oil starvation issues and LSs sometimes have those issues. Also the camshaft car has like 90,000 miles, looks really good. Everything looks really good. There's a torque converter for the built transmission. So I'll probably have to end up cleaning the transmission. I wanna pull, uh, clean the inside of the bell housing. I wanna pull the pan, make sure nothing got inside the pan because the torque converter has been off. I'll probably drain some of the fluid out of the torque converter as well. Make sure it hasn't been sitting open. Make sure there isn't any water or anything crazy. You know, not knowing what was what happened to this thing in four years if the engine was left open for you know a year or four years who knows i mean it doesn't look like it's been left open that long but there is grime and grit and stuff inside of it and it definitely was left open and you don't want that stuff to be in your engine and get picked up by your you know oil pickup and then go through your oil filter or not go you through your oil filter because it goes through the bypass valve but We'll worry about that later because I want to put a bunch of stuff. I need to get a crank pulley. Um, I want to check that flux plate because the engine was just kind of sitting inside the engine bay and the flux plate was just kind of sitting against the bell housing. So I want to make sure it's true. I don't want to throw all this together and then have a flux plate that's um, either bent or warped or you know out of balance and have this weird vibration. Vib weird vibrations are not a good thing and not a good thing to try to track down. So I also want to do different uh, lifters. I'll do different rockers since I don't have all the rockers. Um, like half the rockers are missing. Probably 75% of the bolts are missing. Everything was held on by like one bolt. Um, those those uh, brackets were both held on by one bolt. Heads were held on by like six bolts. So uh, I also want to do valve covers. I'll do a uh, valley cover, a uh, bunch of other stuff. So I'm really happy that I was able to get the GTO. This thing is probably, if I cleaned it up and made it super nice, probably worth like $15,000. Uh, it has low miles, it's 93 or whatever thousand miles, really low miles, really clean car. It doesn't look like it has any damage. I mean, it has some sun fading back there, which I could fix pretty easily. This fender has a little ding right there, which doesn't look like it's gonna be that big of a deal. But besides that, I mean, the wheels and the tires, I don't really know if I really like these wheels and these tires are all dry rotted and those are like winter tires. Uh, since I do wanna track this car, I'll probably end up throwing some sticky tires on it and some, some mild sticky tires on it, maybe like some 200-ish tread wear, 300-ish tread wear. Unlike my Hellcat, that's like, I think it's like 450 tread wear on the front. In the back, it's like 320, something like that. I'll probably stay around the 200s, but um, then we'll see how this thing goes and figure out the belt tranny. The exhaust, I need to do something about the exhaust because it was just literally just all welded together and the guy gave me this and I'm not gonna use that. So I'll probably just cut the cats off of there cut you know the x pipe and sections out of it throw it in my scrap exhaust bin and uh, just not use this at all probably just get like a aftermarket exhaust something that sounds really nice like a you know magnaflow uh, because you know i am working with magnaflow so you know hopefully i can get something like that like i have for the charger because those things sound really nice i mean my charger doesn't run but i have listened to them on uh, on the internet just to uh to see how they sound but it's, uh, it's really nice to have all of this ready to go. I know exactly what I need to order. Um, it's just one of those things where you're getting somebody else's project, which didn't come with half the parts and you need to order a bunch of stuff. So this is the first stage of getting this LS2 all back together. And as you can see, it's a six liter aluminum block, not an iron block. So uh, maybe eventually I'll end up throwing a turbo on it and boosting it. I'll probably end up reusing these headers because they are long tube for now, unless I do turbo it. But uh, another thing, I wanna shout out my, my tires. So I have these Coopers on my truck and I got the truck with these tires on it. The front ones didn't last very long just because I think of turning and stuff like that. But the rear ones, I got the truck at 73,000 miles or something like that. These tires, the 
but my truck has 130,000 miles on it. These tires were on my truck when I got it and they look like they've already, they were already on there for like 20 or 30,000 miles. But these tires almost have like 100,000 miles on it. I need to put some, figure out why this tire is leaking. Probably put a plug in it, put some air in it, go home. I like these back tires. I'll probably end up just getting four of those because those are really good tires. I haven't had any issues. This was just like a mismatch tire that came on the trailer when I bought it. And uh, I don't know, it's, it's worked, but it's all dry rotted and none of the other ones are dry rotted. So I'll probably just end up getting new tires for that. I need to get new tires for my truck because those things are pretty much cached. I want to get wheels, but it's so hard finding dually wheels that I like and uh, something that, I don't know, they, duallys are just weird. I kind of want to go back to a single rear wheel because the duallys are just such a weird setup. I mean, the wheels that you can get for them, it's either they're super cool, but people want 20 grand for them, which is way too much for wheels, or they're like, they're not, they're not cool. So um, I think I'll just go back to like a single rear wheel and not have to worry about all this dually stuff. Um, not because there's, four tires in the rear but it just it's just too much of a pain to find good wheels for them that's uh, gonna be the end of this video if you like these videos make sure to click that subscribe button throw a thumbs up throw a comment below and you know christmas is tomorrow this video is gonna be live tomorrow merry christmas to you all and uh have have a good day so see you guys next time